Another developing story tonight we've been following. It has been one week since a convicted child rapist escaped while out of prison on a work detail. Shots were fired, jet skis were pre placed to serve as a getaway ride, and Samuel Hartman was off. The violent escape is leading many to wonder what was a convict with a life sentence for child rape doing out in the first place. Correspondent Marky Martin dug into this for us tonight and she is joining us live with the details and the very latest on an active manhunt tonight. Marky. Yeah, Marnie, that's exactly one of the questions we really wanted to dig into today was why was Samuel Hartman even allowed out on work detail in the first place, especially considering the fact that he was neither a model citizen nor inmate. From the banks of the Mississippi to his family's trailer, law enforcement tearing into every detail they can to find 38-year-old escaped inmate Samuel Hartman. The search is now a week old, giving way to questions about how a convicted child rapist was even allowed out of an Arkansas prison on a work detail. Among the postings online, whoever approved that is at fault and should be held responsible. And put a dangerous criminal on work detail? Brilliant. People may be surprised that there are a number of individuals in these programs in states across the country who committed very serious offenses. Mark Levin of the Council on Criminal Justice explains in some states, even inmates who've committed unintentional murder can get work release, doing everything from picking crops to driving 18 wheelers. It's definitely a privilege, um, and of course, one that can be taken away. And that's why Hartman's prison disciplinary record is surprising to many criminal justice experts. It contains nearly two dozen violations, from trafficking and trading to 16 reprimands for possession and manufacture of contraband. Plus, the convicted child rapist had one violation of sexual activity. All these contraband, I mean, more than a dozen that he had, that should have been a huge red flag. I've looked at the background of this Mr. Hartman. He's had he's in for a serious crime, sexual assault of a child under 14. He's had some discipline issues within the prison system, drugs, sexual activity and so on. So typically that isn't the kind of person that we would see on a work detail. Kaiser University's Gregory Richter has taught criminal justice since the 80s and served as a deputy just as long. He's certain marshals and officers are prepared for possible violence from this kind of inmate on the run. Given his history, his criminal history, his history in prison, he is not the type of individual that's going to be able to legitimately live in society and earn money. And everyone is looking for him. So sooner or later, he will come in contact with law enforcement. And both criminal justice experts that we talked to said it's a possibility that it could have been twofold. High job vacancies and also that high turnover rate that you often see uh, for corrections officers. They said both of those things could have played a factor. They also wonder if there was even enough seasoned manpower there, uh, seasoned personnel watching over those inmates while they were out on that work detail. Marnie. Yeah, worth investigating, but um, the focus tonight, finding him before he hurts anyone else. Marky, thank you. We want to thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.